everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea Womulata Crafts, and today I'm gonna show you how I'm making 100 of these particular Christmas cards within just three short days. All right, so let's get started. I only have nine minutes and some odd amount of seconds to um, show you the video, to make the video actually, because that's the only amount of time I have left on my phone, my memory card can full. So these recollections, packs of the cards and envelopes, the plain ones, are on sale at Michael's right now for 50% off. So I got two of those. And I'm using the Recollections Sugar Plum paper. All of the Christmas paper embellishment and stickers are on sale right now for 60% off. So instead of paying 20 bucks for the pack of paper, you get them for only eight. And I'm also using this other one, the Christmas Abroad paper pad. It's also from the Recollections brand. Sorry if I'm moving too fast, but I'm on a very limited time. And I'm also using Createology marbled construction paper, which I found in the clearance section because someone had wrote on the first page a while back. And all the orange pages are still here because I'm saving those for Halloween. But you take one of those sheets and then you get all of these all of this cut out so you're only going to have this right here as waste and these two little triangles that's all and you can actually use those scraps up for something else later in the future to make embellishments with so let's get started where did i put the pack of the envelopes and cards here we go okay i got everything right here in my hand now as i've told you in previous videos you can see how they already have the score line in the middle well i like to flip it over and go against that because for some reason the cards just come out a lot more even when you do i have no idea why and this measure is five by six and a half so i cut these down to a half i mean i have a quarter inch shorter so this is four and three quarters by six and um two quarters so i'm not gonna put a lot of the advanced tape glider adhesive on it for the sake of saving time for the video but i am gonna try to make this like as centered as possible so it doesn't look sloppy okay and the part that goes right here i cut out all of these yesterday from those two paper pads and these are half an inch shorter than the card so it's four and a half this way by six inches up this way so let me just find something that looks nice. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh. Yeah, let's use this one. This is pretty. It has the nice blue on it, right? All right. So let's just put some more adhesive onto this. And I'm sorry I'm moving so fast. If I'm moving too fast for you, feel free to pause the video and I'll still be here waiting for you when you catch up. I just have very short time to get it done because my memory card is almost full already. So we're just going to place that down like so. And then since I'm using the blue and my other card has red and green. I only did four colors. I got red, green and blue and yellow. And blue and yellow are the colors of my favorite soccer team as a matter of fact. So we're going to do a yellow banner. I'll try to get this oh i got a little bit of the adhesive we just tuck that under i like to stick everything on the edge of my exacto knife because for some reason it makes it a lot more easier to get stuff straight and then we're gonna pick up this which measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters oh this side looks prettier not that it's gonna be noticeable or anything because it's gonna be covered up of course but yeah so we're going to put this on here. And the reason I decided to do 100 Christmas cards is because I started going to this new church like two weeks ago. The New Life Community Church. And oh my goodness, you guys, like they give you such a warm, warm welcome there. You feel like family. They welcome you like if they've known you all your life. And for this part right here that goes there, I'm going to make blue and yellow. So I have already pre-cut some white cardstock also by the recollections brand and it's just a quarter of an inch shorter so as i said like this is three and three quarters by four and four quarters this is three and a half by four and a half right there and so we're gonna take these recollections necessities ink pads and it's very important that you use the pigment ink instead of the dye ink because the stuff when you're doing embossing 
it needs to stay wet and these are the stamps that i'm using the snowflake it came from inka dinka doom and the don't open until christmas is from momenta i picked those up at michael's last year so i'm gonna do this snowflake in blue blue and yellow blue is my favorite color and yellow complements it so well for some reason so we're just gonna push that down nice and hard like that and important like i said when you're doing heat embossing with embossing powder you need your inks to stay wet for a while so that the embossing powder will have a chance to actually stick to it because what it is is grinded up little pellets of plastic that you have to melt on I do not know where my container ended up at so I'm just gonna do the embossing right on top of here just to save time so I'm not looking for it and when you get embossing powder if you're gonna do it over colors make sure it says clear on it I don't know if you can see that but don't get the one that's white don't get the one that says snow and don't get the other one that's glittery make sure you get the clear one very important they all look the same unless you're looking very close and you got to pay attention to that label so we're gonna just put a really really thick coat over it to make sure everything is covered uh, it's all over the place you see how opaque it is right now but once i get the plastic melted it's gonna be really nice and shiny so i'm gonna heat it up with the heat tool right quick and i'll be right back Okay, I'm back. I cleaned up the embossing powder, put it all back in here. The good thing about doing it on top of a sheet of paper is you can fold it in half and then just throw it back. And can you see how vibrant and shiny this is now? Because the plastic is melted and I got it, I let it cool down for a few seconds. I think you can see the shimmer. So we're just going to take this, apply some adhesive to it, and throw it right there. Well, not throw, but you know what I mean. And then on the back, I have this stamping up thing imaging to put my name. It's going to say Mulata Crafts on the back. So let me just get this ink. I like to use the um, Rangers, what is it called? The archival ink because it's waterproof. So it's going to be on there for a good long time. Try to get it. I uh, put it crooked, but it's all right, you know. It's a thought that counts anyway. And then on the inside of the card, I'm going to put Jesus is the reason for the season because that's what Christmas is all about. I don't know what's up with some people that they like to take Christ out of Christmas when it's all about him, but I'm not doing that. I'm keeping him as my main purpose, and that's the main reason why I'm even making these cards to begin with. So there you have it. That's how we make it. Let me add one more stamp to it. Since I'm doing a series of them, I'm going to do this that says limited edition. There's only going to be a hundred of these particular ones in the world. And there we go. Got that on there nicely. Let me just put that down a little bit. And there we have it. We've got another Christmas card made. Really nice, beautiful colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you make any of this design... Um, find me on Instagram and and um, tag me. I would like to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Merry Christmas.